Hi, I'm Dr. Simmons, and today I'm cooking orange chicken topped with arugula, green onions, and apple cider vinegar. I've already placed the chicken drumsticks in the oven topped with orange juice, and I'm letting it cook. Chicken is a great source of complete proteins. Complete proteins contain all of the amino acids needed by the body. Amino acids are building blocks in the body involved in many different reactions. For example, arginine is important for immunity. The chicken also contains tryptophan, which is a precursor to serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter in the brain that promotes feelings of happiness and well-being. And chicken contains selenium, which is important for the thyroid and can also help with immunity. Now on top of the chicken, I've placed some orange juice and it will mix nicely with the bone broth that comes out of the chicken drumsticks. I like to use the drumsticks to get that bone broth because bone broth is a source of collagen which helps with skin elasticity and prevention of wrinkles. The orange juice is also a great source of vitamin C, which is an antioxidant and important for immunity, and carotenoids, which give it its orange color and help with conversion to vitamin A once in the body, which is good for the eyes. Now, I normally like to use fresh squeezed orange juice if possible, but sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I'll use store-bought orange juice. I just make sure it doesn't have any added sugars, and I try to get organic if possible. If I use the orange juice right out of the refrigerator, it's gonna be cold. So I have to be aware that the cooking time will be a little bit longer because the oven will have to warm it up before it cooks it. While that's cooking in the oven, I've been preparing the topping. And really the star of this dish is arugula. In some places in the world, arugula is called salad rocket. But whatever you call it, I think it tastes out of this world. I like to use arugula because it has vitamin K that's important for blood clotting pathways in the body and it has a lot of antioxidants such as polyphenols, organic sulfur compounds, and sulforaphanes and those can help in decreasing inflammation in the body. Now I boil the arugula because it also contains something called glucosinolates and that's um, something that's common to cruciferous or cabbage family foods like arugula. The glucosinolates are anti-nutrients that can block the thyroid gland's ability to use iodine. And the thyroid gland is really important for metabolism in the body, so I don't want it to be hindered. By boiling the arugula, it helps to inactivate the glucosinolates and on top of that, converts them into cancer-fighting compounds. So it's the best of both worlds. The green onions that I've placed have goitrogens, which are other compounds that can also block the thyroid gland's ability to use iodine. But by cooking it, that will help to inactivate that as well. The green onions are basically young onions, and they contain organosulfur compounds that help with decreasing inflammation and are good for the heart. Once it boiled, I drained off the liquid and I'm going to add to it some apple cider vinegar. Now, initially when I washed off the arugula and green onions, I used distilled vinegar. And that's because some studies have shown that in food preparation, distilled vinegar might help to kill or decrease certain bacteria that can cause foodborne illnesses like E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. So I like to wash off my um, different produce with vinegar. But for the cooking part, I use the apple cider vinegar with the mother. And the mother means that there's a lot of probiotics in the vinegar. It's made from fermented apples, and that's where the apple cider vinegar comes from. It also contains acetic acid, and acetic acid may help to increase serotonin and dopamine, neurotransmitters in the brain, to help promote feelings of happiness and well-being. So I'm going to add in some vinegar. It, it helps to tenderize the food, too, so that's an added benefit. Now I'm going to add in some rosemary. Rosemary has antimicrobial properties, which helps prevent food spoilage, and it also contains compounds such as camphor and rosemarinic acid that can help with healing. 
It smells good too. So I'm gonna add it in, and now I'm gonna let all these flavors mix together while the chicken continues to cook. And we'll come back in a little bit and check on it. All right, the chicken is done. I have tested it with a food thermometer to make sure that it did reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees to make sure it was thoroughly cooked. But I made sure it did not go over 248 degrees Fahrenheit because at higher temperatures, reactions can occur that result in acrylamide formation, which is a cancer-causing agent. The arugula and green onions have also mixed with the apple cider vinegar and the rosemary and are ready to become the topping to this dish. I'm going to have one of these containers to have to eat now. I'll put another one in the refrigerator for later this week, and then two of them I can place in the uh, freezer in order to have to pull out whenever I need a good meal. When I pull it out, I'll just heat it up for about two minutes in the microwave. For the cooking of this, it actually was at 325 degrees for a, an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to top it off with a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, which is a nice source of iron in addition to sodium. And I'm going to add some black pepper, which has expectorant properties, which helps to thin out mucus, kind of like cough syrup. And it has a great flavor. When I was doing my pre-medical studies at Stanford University, I attended a clinic uh, with a hepatologist, that's a liver doctor, and a lot of his patients lost their appetite because of medication and disease related changes but it was really important for them to still have nutrition from food. I remember him telling his patients that it was important to think about eating to live not to taste. However I found in my quest to eat better, to live better, um, as I get rid of preservatives, eat homemade foods and try to incorporate healthy spices, that it actually tastes better. And I think this meal is gonna taste really good. I'm Dr. Simmons, living a better and tastier life.